So today in Anime Champion Simulator, I am going to be trying to make the brand new cosmic Sung Jin Woo and trying to get an Ascension 3 Omega version of the new cosmic. Now, before this video begins, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to like and subscribe. It's completely free and it really helps me out. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure to do that. But without wasting more time, let's get straight into the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, or I guess yesterday, update 12 dropped. You know, we got a couple of new features, including runes, stuff like that, which I will hopefully be maxing out soon and making a video on maybe but aside from that i was afking all yesterday i haven't really done anything besides actually afk and i ended up getting 12 i believe of these new portal summons which honestly surprised me because it took a long amount of time to get 32 of these but i was able to get 12 in like a couple of hours so that's good and we should only need about six or seven to actually make an omega 3 so hopefully we're able to do that because if not well then i'm gonna have to go afk and cut the video down but besides that right um i just want to say these portal summons summons kind of look very similar like, i can't lie the virtual summon the portal summon bro they look like almost identical but that's not the point you know we're here at the cosmic summon maybe we're gonna be able to pull godly as you can see here they changed the chances i believe it was 50 percent and 25 and 25 or something like that but now it is 70 percent you can see that here in the patch notes that it was changed to that split so i guess that is better for some of the players here but i guess we should just go ahead and start opening because i haven't even gotten this new cosmic yet so i'm excited to see what it looks like i've actually never seen it before so for our first summon it's not going to be golly that's completely okay if we were able to pull golly that would be really cool but the chances obviously aren't in our favor i still haven't gotten myself a godly kirito or white beard so hopefully we're going to change that soon and we were able to get him man this cosmic is pretty cool honestly one of my favorites i don't really like the hair though like i'm just looking at it for the first time right now it's called the player i already knew that because i've seen it in chat before but this is what he looks like base level 130 i think the design is really nice besides the hair i think it looks like a little bit flat and goofy but i mean there we go we're gonna need about i believe we're gonna need six more actually if you want to make him omega three so hopefully we're able to get that the odds should be in our favor i believe we do have the amount that we need and we didn't get a godly on our second open which is completely okay you know like i'm not expecting a godly right now and we ended up getting a white beard for our second open but for some reason the animation bug i mean that's kind of an l you know obviously we only want these sung jin woos here so for our third open not gonna be godly you know i'm not really gonna complain i'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible because i know a lot of you guys want to actually see this godly i mean essentially three and maxed out but there we go we got our second one nine more to go and we need five sung jin woos so we just have to get one every like one and a half i believe which honestly isn't bad so for our fourth one not going to be a godly and it is going to be another sung jin woo so that's pretty good so far the odds have been pretty favorable to us we have seven capsules left and let's see what are we going to get and it is not going to be godly kind of unfortunate it, but hopefully this is a sung jin woo we really looking for those and it is going to be a sung jin woo so let's go we now have four of them i believe and we need a total of seven so in these next seven castles we need to pull three of them if we want to be able to make our guaranteed ascension three all right another one no godly but what cosmic is it gonna be all right let's see please bro and we get another sung jin woo let's go guys we're getting kind of lucky i can't lie only one other cosmic in our like six seven opens which is really good all right so not a god godly as well but what cosmic is it going to be and we are going to get a kirito i mean that's kind of sad obviously i don't really want a kirito unless it's godly right now so you know hopefully we're able to get more of these sung jin woos and the next one not going to be a godly either from what it looks like sometimes the animations are bugged and you can't really tell until the end but i don't think that's the case anymore let's see what's it going to be and we are going to get ourselves another sung jin woo so now we have one two three four five six we've six of them so we only need one more and these next four capsules here so for the next one not going to be godly from what it looks like we need one more sung jin woo for the guaranteed ascension three guys and we got ourselves a white bear i'm not sure what's up with that animation we have three more attempts to get one more sung jin woo next one not going to be godly that's completely okay we need to get one more sung jin woo all right let's see it and we got our last sung jin woo guys there we go and now we have two extra capsules i guess we can go ahead and open them anyways because that'll be a waste you know in case we get a godly or something all right so like we didn't end up getting the sung jin woo and that's uh okay i mean godly not sung jin woo this might be one but i guess we'll see anyways and it is going to be a kirito you know not really complaining i don't really care that much anymore now that we have our seven that we required all right last capsule is it going to be godly and it is not going to be godly unfortunately i have seen a handful of godly sung jin woos actually being opened and if you have one and you are 
are willing for me to showcase it, then let me know in my Discord server down below. But now, if we look in our inventory here, we can make a full team of the players, actually. We're almost a full team. Now, we have seven of the brand new Cosmic Sung Jin Woo guys. So, I think it's enough of wasting time. I think we should go ahead and make it a Sung Jin 3. I know you guys obviously have a lot of things to do, so I don't want to waste any of your time here. Got 1.13k Essence. You know, not really a need to deconstruct right now, even though I'm almost maxed out on units here. I gotta unequip them all so that I can actually convert them. Okay, so let's make them Ascension 1 and 3, 2, 1. There we go. Ascension 1, Sung Jin Woo. Now we can select two more of them, and I believe we showed the perfect amount. Perfect amount, my bad. Uh, but let's make them Ascension 2 and 3, 2, 1. There we go. Ascension to the player, and we should have, and we do have a perfect amount of Sung Jin Woo's here that we can use. I'm running a little bit low on these Ascension cards. I might have to actually start doing my start of hour again. Anyways, but by reaching Ascension 3, we're able to give him a, a second equip slot for skins or whatever and we also let him get past talents 100 which is how we're going to get our mega 3 all right so let's go ahead and make him ascension 3 and 3 2 1 convert and there we go guys ascension 3 the player all right so now if we look in our inventory we can see him here 722 million damage level 130 base i've actually never seen a skin before because i as i said earlier i didn't do any of the quests or anything like that i just went straight into opening i mean but his player model looks cool the stats are honestly really bad but obviously so we're going to go ahead and change that as much as i would like to level him up right now i'm actually going to do his talents because if i try to actually roll on him i'd have to use the premium medals because i've never done his raid before but i guess now is the time that we're going to make him omega 3 i have 16,000 talent tokens here so it shouldn't really be an issue but enough being said let's go ahead and start rolling and i'll see you guys once we make him omega 3 All right, guys, as you guys can see, we got the Omega-3. Honestly, it didn't take that long, but still took a fair amount of time here. We ended up spending about 3,000 talent tokens. Not a lot of room to complain there, but here we have him, Omega-3, average DPS of 5.72 billion. So what I think we should do next is actually get some of the new raids done. The new cap for medals is actually 25,000 because people were complaining that it was too low. But I think I'm going to go ahead and actually max out on some of these medals here so that we can get him Genius 2 or 3, as well as get him titan and crimson demon perhaps because i'm going to be making him a mage build because his ult time is around nine seconds from what i've heard so he would make a pretty decent mage i've actually never seen the new dungeon here so we're gonna load one up we're, we're gonna go ahead and try a nightmare one because i don't know if these are actually difficult it feels pretty easy i know that um everything is now like three times stronger at least i've never actually done the new dungeon or this new raid here this is my first impression uh nothing here is too difficult obviously everything scaled up so here is one of the bosses the shaman orc at a 61 quadrillion not really that bad you know we're doing some pretty good dps to it i already got through the difficulty of getting my team to level 170 i guess we should ult here i believe our dps is around 3 key right now which isn't very high but it's decent and it's gonna have to work all right now the boss is getting kind of low so i'm gonna swap to my drop team here oh i forgot i should actually apply a drop boost somewhere do i have one and i do all right let's see so we're gonna go and get about how much are we gonna get we're gonna get only like a thousand tokens that might be like a mini boss this whole place is kind of confusing i can't lie i don't really know what i'm doing exactly all right so after that that room should be done and now we can move on to these other rooms here and we're just gonna kill ahead and keep running it down here i don't know how this works do i am i supposed to like go to this portal or something i guess not i guess i have to kill these mobs here first i didn't even see them in the first place though so. mobs here aren't too too strong all right so there we go now that's done i guess we're supposed to go back here it's pretty interesting i don't really know what i'm supposed to do here all right so now we have one more mob left to go and then we should be done with this i think another mini boss is gonna actually spawn here let's see am i right so okay so there we go another mini boss here this one actually only has 8.7 q which is leading me to believe this isn't a mini boss and i actually lied so my bad um all right so there we go we just cleared that wave and now there is a chest over there i believe that is the secret chest and this might be the mini boss it has 200 
200 Q, which is quite a lot actually. But we're gonna go ahead and take that down here. All right, so I'm actually gonna leave the dungeon because that was just taking way too long. I'm not sure if I'm just really weak or if the bosses were really strong, but that ended up taking a lot longer than I would have hoped. So I'm gonna run some impossibles because um it's obviously going to give a fair amount while still being also decently challenging. So now I'm just doing this one because uh you know it's kind of easier. Plus I can spam them a lot faster, so it should be more efficient for me. But I'm gonna turn off my auto ability so I don't actually like one shot every single boss here. And we can see there is a secret chest here, and then we run back to this room and we clear everything out again. And here we are back at the original boss that we were fighting originally, and we're just gonna go ahead and melt that HP. And right before it's about to die, we are going to like swap to our drop team here to obviously get the max amount. And we're going to get a couple thousand medals here. I'm gonna actually use the um daily chest here. And we didn't get the new cosmic skin, however, we did get about five thousand of the new medals, which isn't really that bad. There is the mythical skin, and that run gave us three thousand medals, so it's not a lot, but it is what it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and max out on the brand new medals and start rolling on our Sung Jin Woo. But I'll catch up with you guys once I am maxed on the brand new medals. All right, so after using a little bit of damage potions here, I ended up with 25,105 XP medals. So you know, we're obviously good there. So now we can select our player. We're gonna go for Genius 2 and Genius 3, even though it's those in the wrong order. We're gonna select Crimson Demon and we're going to select Titan. And let's go ahead and start rolling. And I'll catch up with you guys once we have our Genius 2 and Genius 3. There we go, Genius 2, W. Now we deselect Genius 2 and deselect Genius 3. And let's go ahead and get our Genius 3 there. And there we go, we got Genius 3. All right. As you guys can tell there, we obviously got our Genius 3 on our Sung Jin Woo. So now we can apply one of our cosmic skins here, our Illusion of Supreme, and we can select it and then we can find our Wings of Care with Knowledge and we can put that on slot one or two, I believe. Okay, we're gonna have to put that on slot two. So let me put that on slot two and then we can find our Illusion of Supreme somewhere up here. And now we can see that his XP is negative 650 trillion. So now let's head to the green planet world and we are going to go over to the summon and we're going to set the configuration to the player and now if we click open three two one there we go open our player should now be max level and i think we just actually got a summon from that which is pretty interesting considering i literally have a damage team on which is pretty cool anyways you know there we go our player is now max level guys 458 billion you know not bad not bad but now we can unselect those and now we still have a bunch of leftover works remaining so let's start rolling and see how long Long it takes us for us to actually get our Crimson Demon and a tie-in on our brand new Sung Jin Woo. Alright guys, there we go. We got Titan on our Sung Jin Woo. So now all we need to get is our Crimson Demon, I believe. Oh, still got 6,000 left to go. So hopefully we're able to pull it. But if not, that's completely okay. Because I actually do want more attempts to pull his cosmic skin. But I'm going to let the rest of these medals roll out. And I'll catch you guys if we end up getting it or not. <laughs> all right so after that we didn't get the crimson demon that we needed so i'm gonna go ahead and farm some more metals here and i'll be back with you guys once we actually have our metals done all right so i'm back i got myself 20 more thousand of the metals here as you can see 24 thousand basically 25 thousand but while i was actually grinding i ended up getting myself a cosmic rune guys it's honestly pretty good i'm probably gonna end up applying it to my new sung jin woo that we're gonna make making this video to make him even more op but let's just go ahead and select this and we're going to be selecting crimson demon again and we're gonna start rolling and let's see if we're able to pull it or not all right guys welcome back as you can see here we got the crimson demon on our sung jin Woo. I had to clip it because um it was taking a very long amount of time and I didn't want to make the video longer than it needed to be but we actually got him both the quirks he needs and right now he is an average DPS of 19.8 trillion which is pretty good and actually when I was doing raids I didn't clip it but I actually got two of his cosmic skins here so here you can see I have one that's conquest and I have one that is of the gods and that is going to be the one I'm using because of the gods is actually one of the aspects that I like because a pair 
fares really well with Ancient Magus, but let's apply it. And now he will be doing 24 trillion, but when I equip an Ancient Magus hammer that I don't have. All right, one second. I got to make one. I actually think he would look really cool with an Ancient Magus hammer because it's purple and he's also purple. I just think it would look really good. Apparently, there's a new GUI here, so that's pretty interesting. I can't really see everything as well, though, which is kind of annoying. All right, there we go. We got Ancient Magus. Took us like 2.5k scrap. Apparently, there's a rune upgrade thing as well and a rune removal which will be pretty interesting and i might get into that later all right but now we can find our ancient magus thing and we can apply it and now we'll check his damage in three two one there we go 31.8 trillion with ancient magus and godly and you might be thinking that's kind of low because i mean this unit has 47 trillion but the reason for this is because if you actually look at inspect you will see the boss dps is extremely high and it has really high ability damage right there like for example here this unit has double ancient magus and its dps is going to appear higher but if you look at the boss dps and the average boss damage it's actually going to be a lot lower and with crimson demon and titan you get higher m1 damage for mobs which generally it would make it better the only reason you should be using double magus in my opinion is if you have every rune so that you can proc every ability but enough about that let's go ahead and equip him and this is what he looks like guys i mean that is kind of nice i like how the purple matches with the purple inside of him i'm not a huge fan of his skin here but he does have some really nice vfx that go on around him if you actually look at it actually let me unequip his skin for just a second here because i want to see what he looks like without it so there we go i gotta say without the skin he looks a lot cooler but i mean it, it is what it is i don't know why he looks like that it looks kind of blocky i can't lie anyways let's take him over to the dps dummy so that we can see his actual dps and keep in mind my dps boost does not matter anymore because it actually doesn't apply to the dps dummy but let's look he's going to be doing 23.3 trillion damage per hit and with that ulting he's going to be averaging at around 17.7 trillion damage so let's go ahead and use the ultimate i'm excited to see what it is it's supposedly nine seconds and the vfx already looking really solid you know it is going to be a longer ult which is why you'd make him a mage i mean i really like the vfx but i think we should actually look at the damage that it is doing with his ultimate because i wasn't really paying attention i was looking more at the actual vfx of it all right so he's now fully charged his ult and let's see it's going to do an attack how much is it going to be for 729 trillion before doing another attack for the same amount and then it finishes with an attack for 1.49 q what do you guys think do you guys like this unit in my opinion he is good but i feel like he could be better especially if i applied one of my eyes and skins right here let me actually try that so i'm gonna apply my ancient magus illusionist supreme the reason being is that because he has a longer old time with that skin so we're gonna do that and i'm also going to apply my wings of the gods here because he will have a longer old duration which should make his ult a lot stronger when we put him on he's gonna be doing i believe the same amount per hit obviously and the dps average is going to be around the same but what's really gonna make the difference here guys is going to be the ability damage all right so let's Let's test his ability so this one's going to be longer so it should have higher dps hypothetically so there it goes it's going to do a bunch of damage here as you can see here and it's going to do a lot i'm not sure what the actual damage was of my past one but this one's going to be doing around 250 trillion you want to stun the math behind it is that the longer the ult charges the stronger the actual like um ability damage but the dps on him should change here as well and he's actually going to be doing more boss dps at around 40.2 trillion if you guys didn't know that's how skins were well then i guess now you know unfortunately i don't have a star devourer up right now so i can't actually show you guys how much damage he does in a three minute time span but i, I mean we can also i forgot we can actually have this rune here that we can apply to him so i'm actually gonna apply that now and now we can see here that he has this rune applied that will buff all of my other units when he ults and actually raise his boss dps to around 41 trillion so that's pretty cool unfortunately i don't believe rune actually adds any vfx to him but i mean yeah that's about it for this video we made him the strongest champion possible including giving him his own cosmic rune guys if you guys enjoyed this video or found it entertaining or informational at all then make sure to like and subscribe thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys next time peace